What's up you guys, this is MCU Lego Boy here uh, with 75002 ATRT 222 pieces of Lego Star Wars The Clone Wars Umbara Arc Awesomeness. So, uh, yeah, this is the Umbara uh, series stuff. Um, and that, it was by far like <laughs> the best series. Um, sorry about this wonky setup. Uh, hopefully things will get fixed soon. Uh, it's just, this is a very tall box. It is. Uh, it's a very interesting box. Most boxes are usually on their sides. But this one is not. This one's up like this. So, anyway, uh, go over the box a little bit. Um, Yoda, never on Umbara. Uh, commando droid captains not seen on screen in Umbara. Sniper droid also not seen on Umbara. And sniper droids do not have a uh, a shield generator. They use their actual uh, shell as a shield generator. So yeah, uh, Lego done goofed. There, um, now my only reasoning behind this would be uh, for those who had not seen the Clone Wars see, uh, series, or at least the episode dealing with the sniper droid, um, they would have never seen this thing before, they would have thought it looked cool, or a kid would have just completely forgotten about whether or not this thing had a shield generator. So, uh, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, uh, it's got a similar design to that of, uh, the uh, battle pack hopefully it definitely looks better um and you know cool whatever uh five of first guy cool on the back we got like swiveling stuff place to throw blaster all of these things and stuff like that so you know cool so yeah uh let's get to building it and hopefully we can get this thing sorted out Well, I go, stop messing up my instructions, man. That's not cool. So, yeah, um, got some stickers. I believe four is the uh, correct number. Ooh. That looks fancy. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that later. Um, so, yeah, three bags, of course. Why not? Um, yeah, because, you know... Uh, yeah, I, I don't quite understand, but bag one is just for minifigures, bag two is for legs, and bag three is for that part. Okay, so, wait, hang on. Yeah, seven to twelve year olds, I think they know how to build. And, you know, if they weren't separated into bags, I would totally just take them all and mix them all together just to... You know, be stupid. But honestly, like, just dump out the content, take each bag and all that stuff, build each section, start bag two. I mean, it's pretty standard. They even tell you right there, it's like, bag one goes to here, bag two goes to there, bag three goes to there, and I'm pretty sure that somewhere in the build, see, like, right there, all right, dude, I just flipped right to it, cool. It, it tells you, hey, dude, get bag two ready and we're gonna start doing that so i mean i don't know and this is gonna be difficult to like put instruction uh, maybe yeah, maybe uh, yeah, whatever so let's actually build it this way all right so here we are with the final set take what four or five i don't know i don't really care anymore but uh yeah this minifigure is way too small but i'm gonna get to that later so anyway First, we're going to start off with going over minifigures, as we usually do. And we're going to talk about this guy. Bogus camera. So, yeah, like, dark images, they don't really work out too well. But, uh, oh no. Will it 
focus. There we go. It's focused on me. So yeah, basically just some white detailing on the front. Nothing else new. Yeah, nothing else new. So it's kind of cool that we get the uh, commander in here. Um, they listed Yoda as not being new, but he totally is new. And uh, let me explain. Look at this Yoda, and look at this Yoda. They don't really look all that different, do they? Well, look at the colors on the torso and the design of the lines and everything. This is totally different from this, from a certain point of view. Um, also, he's got back printing. That is new. Um, also, look at his hair. His hair is uh, very, very white now, instead of this gray. Um, and then also what's new, his head, watch, this is a uh, extremely rubbery head, so yeah, we get here, um, we try and push his head together, it's a very hard plastic except for like on the very tips of the ears, so it's basically the uh, old style Yoda type of a headpiece now, instead of being all rubbery and uh, loosey-goosey and everything, so yeah. Not bad. What happened to the lights over there? It is it's hidden behind my camera from my point of view. Alright. So, yeah. And I've said it a bunch of times. Many figures with short legs need the shorter lightsaber blade. It bothers me that Yoda has such a long lightsaber blade. I, I think it should be shorter. And... Eventually, whenever I get the stuff with Ahsoka, I wish that they would have given her a three-length lightsaber bar. So, anyway, whatever. Um, and, yeah, whatever. Yeah, fall over. Just have them all die. Let's see. Um, and he's taking the handlebars with him. This is, that's why I don't like this handlebar piece. It always clamps too well onto the minifigures, and they pull up the handle our piece with them and of course I would show you this but I like this but I do need to show you guys the torso on this guy so yeah anyway uh, there that is one awesome looking minifigure the head the helmet um just a little not really silly but a, a little weird looking yeah there there's the back uh, there's the front. Very cool. I, I like him. I like him a lot. And, uh, I hope to get more. Um, now that I've gotten this set, I kind of feel like I have to get the other two of the Umbaras, uh, sets. So, yeah, um, but just to give you guys a comparison. First, we'll just kind of look at the helmets. Like, they both use the same helmet mold, obviously, for, um, uh, Rex, why you be so complicated with your pistols and everything? So, yeah. When you look at Rex, uh, his mouthpiece really is like that. I, I kind of like the design of this guy, though. Just the whole design of it. He looks angry. <laughs> Just a bit. Um, so, yeah. Totally cool. I like it. A lot. So, and his blaster can be stored up inside the ATRT. But now let's let's get these handlebars back on. We'll throw them um, up inside here. Uh. 
Can you now see that? There we go. Close enough. Whatever. And now he's just going to want to fall, right? Okay, cool. Um, yeah, next minifigure is the, uh, the sniper battle, or destroyer droid, or the sniper droid, or whatever. Um, definitely looks better than uh, this dude. Totally bad. So, um, he's, he, he looks a little more proportional, but he is way too out of scale. At least this was uh, reasonably in scale, where you've got the guy, he's about that tall. This thing is a uh, giant <laughs> compared to him, so yeah, um, definitely does look good. So, no real complaints here. Um, the head, I mean, like it can't sw like do its thing, so this sniper droid is ultimately defenseless, but whatever. And now we get on to the ATRT, but I know I'm going to be talking about it a lot longer than time allowed, so we're gonna take a break for a second. And then we're just gonna come right back. So, anyway, here is our, our uh, ATRT walker, and like it, it really is good. Um, looks great. Printing on here, very good. Five of first clones, uh, awesome. Um, what's nice is that these stickers are transparent, so you could apply them to other things. Although, why would you put a five of first on anything that wasn't blue? I don't know. And I'm not quite sure if uh, this design is seen on other uh, ATRTs. It, it's very hard to remember season one. <laughs> that was uh, uh, that was many seasons ago now. We're now on the wait for season six and what channel it'll be on. So, uh, but anyway, uh, the legs on here, like ultimately, it's you've got the little pod area up in here. That's fine. Antennas, that's fine. Place to put a gun, that's fine. Everything's fine. A little rotating blaster and everything. That that's cool. Whatever. The main thing about an ATRT are the legs and. These legs, they're good, they're accurate. But they do that. Like, you can't get them to move any other direction but out. This thing cannot keep balance. You can get it about... You can get it about right there. After that, that's all you can really do. You go one more notch out, this guy's gonna fall. You try doing different combinations, but you can't get the foot to go in further. I mean, that that's actually quite disappointing. Whenever you compare it to uh, the old 2005 version, this thing is huge, but at least this one could stand up on its own without like any sort of support from anything else. This thing can't. Uh, it's like it, it's basically like that the whole time, and you can't like, have this thing run and look like that. Well, why? And, like, y you couldn't even get this thing to go in any further to begin with. Um, I do suppose, though, that if you were to take that part off, you could at least bring it in like that. And you could have them almost be walking. But, like, ultimately, this, this guy is, uh, he, he likes to be stable. Let's see. Eh. Yeah, yeah, no. No. So, yeah, like, the model is great looking, but... Ultimately, it, it fails um, when it comes to playability, because there's not much you can do about it. Like, you can, you can, yeah, you can have this kid just running and going, meh, 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 meh. But y you can't pose them easily. Um, at least this one you can pose. And both of these are, like, way out of scale. This guy is the most accurate 
looking little guy ever. It's a uh, midi-fig scale. Some things may not be quite proportional, but it's pretty close to being perfect. And the best thing about this one, you can get it in a running pose like that. Amazing. Yeah, so, yeah. Like, I'm not saying that this set is not worth getting. It's cool. It definitely is. Um, if you can find ways to improve it yourself, definitely do that. Because the dude that, like, this thing needs some help. Let's see. Maybe. Maybe. No, that won't. That won't do much either. Eh. Yeah, like, all, like, ew, dude, this, I'm not saying it's bad, it's just not great. So, um, maybe, there, <clears throat> huh. So, yeah, it, it's, it's okay, um. But yeah, like, that's your best bet. And I'm not even sure if this guy can stand on its own. Yes, it can stand on, uh, like, anything that's uh, straight back on. So, you can have something that, that's like that, but ultimately it's not going to stand. And, so, yeah. Um, the set, however, is worth buying for pieces. You get a nice uh, array of blue pieces. Um, light gray and dark gray pieces. And it, it did come with... One, count them, one, two by four brick in blue. I don't know how many sets can brag about coming with two by four bricks in them anymore. They're, they're not as common as they used to be. So, but yeah, um, and you also get a lot of extra pieces. So, uh, I mean, it, it's your call. It's not a very functional set. It does work as a set. Um, definitely is way out of scale, but I mean, what 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 can you do? They they sacrificed uh, scale for detail. So, oh well, whatever. Uh, at some point, whenever I have a hundred dollars, I will definitely be getting the uh, ultimate heavy cannon and the mobile heavy cannon. And, uh, the Z19 Hunter, so, uh, at some point, we'll have them, and we'll have our whole little Umbara scene going on, um, I'm also planning on getting, um, another one of those, uh, speeder bikes, uh, that came with, uh, Commando Droids and Rex and all those guys, because I'm... I've, I've got an idea now that I can build the slave art scene a little bit. So, yeah, whatever. Um, anyway, this review's gone on long enough, so I'll see you guys next time. Uh, this has been MC Lego Boy with 75002 ATRT. See you guys.